that May is National Hamburger Month. I wish I would have known 25 days earlier. Mm -hmm. And so you can celebrate National Hamburger Day this Saturday. Yeah, How did convenient. You know, we eat an average of 150 hamburgers each year or about three burgers every week. We have registered mm -hmm. dietitian Lori Meyer here to talk about this. Do you know where the very first hamburger was ever served? I don't know, but... You're right here in Wisconsin. Right here? Seymour, really? Wisconsin. At least that's their claim to fame. Oh. If you gr drive by their town, there's a big sign there. And that have says you that. had one there? I have not. I <laughs> but I'm going to have one of these. These look good. <laughs> Happy Hamburger Day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Early. Mm -hmm. um, you know, hamburgers get a bad rap. Everybody thinks, oh, it's fast food, it's bad for yeah. you. There are some redeeming qualities. There's protein, there's minerals, zinc and iron, mm -hmm. B vitamins. They also have special fatty acids, a conjugated linoleic acid, which can be really helpful. And th the bad part about hamburgers often is the size and also mm -hmm. how they're prepared. So if you're burning them or overcooking them, mm. that's what actually increases the cancer risk. Wow. So and we have mm -hmm. this graphic up, and there's this big buzz about grass-fed, and you're see, starting right. to see grass-fed all over. Better, and so right? what's the difference between grass fed and conventional and, and is it better? And the, the, the proof is right here, it actually is better. Because you can see that it's usually, these are animals that they're not fed grain or corn mm -hmm. or, or other things. They're just fed grass and after they're weaned. So you can see they're lower in fat and saturated fat, but they actually have that omega-3 fat yeah. that you get in fish. Okay. And the CLA, the conjugated linoleic acid, that actually helps to protect you against certain cancers. Plus you get more vitamin A, more vitamin E, so you're getting antioxidants. So it actually is a healthier thing. So if you're going to be eating hamburgers, the recommendation is See if you can get a grass fed. Let's burger. eat them. Tell us what do we have yeah. here to eat well, healthy. And first of all, what I have, as I said, size can make a big difference. <laughs> I went to Five Guys and I got their regular oh, hamburger, yeah. and then uh -huh. I got the small one, 700 calories for that, and what? the one on the end, what? 480 on the on the second one. That's okay. their small burger. Sure. It's just one patty versus two patties. Ah. But if you can get the smaller one, because you know, load up on the toppings. Mm -hmm. Then I have, these are all different versions of healthier burgers. I have the grass-fed burger, and those, I found like five or six restaurants around town now that are advertising sure. grass-fed on their menu. Good. Then I have a bison or a buffalo, and buffalo is okay. as healthy as a grass because the bison, they eat mm -hmm. grass. They, mm -hmm. they don't eat grain. And lamb, most often, lamb are going to eat more grass than many mm -hmm. other animals, and so that's going to be another good option. Here I have a turkey. It's called the gobbler. It's a turkey burger. Mm -hmm. And turkey can be iffy, but most of the time it's going to be lower in, in calories. Dryer. Okay. It, it may be dry, but this one has a caramelized uh, balsamic vinegar oh. Um, oh. onion, so it's actually kind of good. Then we have a Tasty. salmon burger. That's mm. going to be really low calorie. It's going to yeah. be like 350 calories and a black bean burger, and that's also, you're going to get a lot of fiber. So there's a yeah. lot of choices, a lot of things that you can do so that you can eat a sure. healthy burger. And the thing I like to tell people, load up on the toppings. That's good. L you know, yeah. lettuce, tomato, onions, mushrooms, jalapenos, jalapenos yeah. peppers. If you're serving burgers for Memorial Day, you need to be at Lori's house. house. Okay. All right, thanks. Got a question for our experts. I just invited myself to our house for we Memorial Day. We did, both yeah. of us. <laughs> Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can leave a voicemail right there, and we will be right back. We